suspension is going to shine big time. Who this suspension is really aimed at and aimed for. You happy? It's awesome. Oh man, okay, I can't wait. I'm going to be going to Nadal's to drink a good cup of coffee and from their home, 100 miles all the way back home. I test ride it and I'll tell you what I think about it. Call me Bucky Nick, it's lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about a nigga rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how you find a hood, but still won't go legitimate? Uh, how you fuck a bunch of bitches, but they still respect the women? He's still rolling, it's another. He just got the window standing. Homie, stab me in the back, and I can never be forgiven. And my pride been itching, man, I like the superstition. Mm -hmm. Can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. Trying to low for me. My car is to the big ass. Bitch, I get high. I ain't looking at the clock. Still falling like bra. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus. Then I'm falling like yeah. You know where I'm at? I stopped by my buddies. Actually, I should say my brother Nadal. <laughs> Senior Nadal. You know Nadal with this huge garage of yeah, beautiful yeah. <laughs> motorcycles so why did i stop on the way by the way i just installed i just installed the wilbur suspension and on the way home i stopped by nadal's because his brother jalal has exactly the same bike that i have the lowrider st and i all the experimentations we do on his bike <laughs> now joking uh he actually installed the thrashing Thrashing nine and a half inch risers with the high bend bar, okay? And I had to try it out because I told you already, I told you that I, when I installed my risers, I went, I thought I would be happy with the six and a half inch and the Harley bars because I didn't want to go into the, all, the whole, uh, you know, business of, new uh, control uh, like new uh, brake line new extensions for the uh for the uh, electronics like the throttle for the gauges and the brake the brake line as well and i thought that six and a half inches would be enough because that's really all i felt that i'm just missing one and a half two inches you know um but after riding the bike for a year and a half now, I realized, I even look today when I was riding down, I look at my shadow on the highway and I'm like a, a, like a hunchback, like a hunchback. And then I realized I'm always sitting erect and pulled straight and my arms are completely straight like that. And I wish I had like another inch and a half, two inches pulled back towards me, hands raised a little bit higher. And I've seen other videos around there with people my height. Lance from uh, Thrash and Supply, he ha he's my height, five, uh, nine and a half, five ten. He has that bike and he put nine and a half inch rise with the high bend bar and so did Nadal. So I took the opportunity when I'm in the area to come over to his house. He gave me the best coffee he's got. This guy has a coffee machine that like better than even Starbucks. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. Anyway, I drank the coffee and sat on the bike took the bike out for a ride and you know what's going on next week right yeah those bars that bar set up on my bike stay tuned i'm going to show you uh, we're going to go to uh, mike from torque uh, custom cycles you're going to do the install i'll show you like usual you know i'll show you a picture before and after my se my seating position how it's all of a sudden so much more comfortable i can tell you that first time because i just tried it uh, on a doll's bike so that's it. I'm going to uh, continue now home and test out the Wilbur's Nivomat suspension. Up till now, coming from, uh, from Tom's River where uh, Mike uh, installed the other Mike, yeah? Installed the, uh, the suspension. I can tell you I'm relieved because remember what I said in the beginning of the video? What a difference. But I'll, ta I'll tell you once I get home. Stay tuned. Come over here. I admire his Ducati. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike, and it's numbered. It's a uh, one. It's like uh, 89. 89 out of 100. It's a collector's item, and 
He says he wants to sell it. I think he's crazy for selling it. I'm not. If they give me the money I asked for, I'll yeah. say it, but I'm not letting it go for it. It's beautiful. And what else? Oh, you know what he has. He has a lot of Beyond Riders. Yes. He, he supports Beyond Riders. Like he makes them, he keeps them alive, keeps them afloat. Yeah. I'm kidding. They've got beautiful stuff here. I'm it even, is. I'm it it wearing, is. They are, it's quality stuff. I'm not. I'm wearing, by the way, they're new. New. It's canvas. This one's made of canvas. Everything, by the way, with them is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nice. It is. It's you guys made fun yeah, of me. You guys. Construction. It's, it's a goal. Stop in the turnpike. See if they need help yeah. on the turnpike. <laughs> the guys are making fun of me of, of the of the color. I, you know, I'm not going to even go there with. Uh, but uh, everything has got. Oh, I'm sorry. It's got everything. Has got Kevlar inside and the pads and. Oh my God! I'm, I'm yeah, wrecking, right. wrecking his house. I'm wrecking his house. Okay, brother. Thank All you. Right, anytime, Sandy. Anytime. Uh, I'm going to ride home and test out the uh, the Nivomet. The new Wilbur's new suspension. Up till now. I'm, it's yeah, 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 yeah. You see the smile on your face. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you so much. My pleasure. Anytime, Sandy. I am so relieved. I cannot tell you how relieved I am. And let me explain why. I'm so relieved. By the way, I literally just not dropped the bike. I went in. Yeah, but I dropped the bike. Let's let's not sugarcoat it. Over here was trying to get was trying to get in through and to avoid these like one dollar pieces of plastic and it's I lost balance here at one pretty much one mile per hour and I put the bike down over here that's where the bag lay down so yeah I laid the bike down anyway I'm so relieved I'm so relieved I rode now 100 miles from the install back to my house it was a hundred miles of highway miles so the impression I'm gonna tell you now are uh, based on highway miles and this is a, not a game changer it's a bike changer because okay the hundred miles I did were on highway so we're talking about high speeds we're talking about highway traffic and we're talking about pretty much straights not curves no twisties i will definitely take the bike out tomorrow the next few days to the twisties and i'm sure it's going to perform just as i expect let me tell you why i'm so relieved as you remember in the beginning of this video or it was a previous video not sure how i'm going to be editing this editing this one i was concerned because stock stock suspension of the low rider st the newer uh, soft tails it's pretty good so I was like we're going to, through this whole effort 
I'm having somebody install this uh, on my bike. I'm getting it. Uh, I'm not paying for it, so it's it's sponsored by them, by Wilbur's. And I was like, what if this is not gonna be a changer? What if this whole thing? How am I gonna tell? How am I gonna? What am I gonna say? Uh, that's one of my concerns, and I can definitely say. I'm so relieved, I'm so happy because the minute I got onto the bike, here you see this is where actually, uh, the minute I got onto the bike, the first thing I noticed is how tight, how tight the bike is. That doesn't mean that it's like stiff, it means tight. And what I mean is when I was shifting first, second, third, fourth, before uh, the bike would like you hit it, so you feel the sag, you feel the, the, the rear drop and you, you, know, you feel the front rise. With here, uh, with this suspension, nothing. I hit it first, second, third, and the bike didn't, like, didn't change its position at all. The wheels. So listen, the battery just, not the battery, the SD card just uh, uh, popped and said that it's full. So I had to run in, I had to run in and change the SD card. So where was I? So as I was saying, the the oh, the first thing I felt when I got onto the bike and it started riding is the bike was not moving, not jolting forward or backwards when I was shifting. When I was shifting, I put a lot, I, I really came down, down on it. I, I really ripped it and the, the front, like the back was not sagging at all additionally when i was braking you 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 there was no dip there was no like dip it was like so significant that's the first first thing and most significant thing i significant feel uh thing i felt with uh with the suspension it's like really tight second thing is uh on the highway itself like and and i was like playing i was hitting it to, to try to get you know the back to sack that was so significant um second thing that i saw or that was when i call it that it's really tight is when you get onto a bump so obviously there's bumps and patches on the highway is how fast the bike like first of all how what uh effect does that bump have on the bike on the ride does it like you know shock it obviously before i was not bottoming out either here definitely not bottoming out but i felt that once i uh got off that bump the bike recovered to traction very fast it's like it's not it wasn't like a cat you know a cadillac that it it does that you know the old cadillacs that you like ew, it's like on on a ship in the ocean no here it was like you hit the bump a slight you know you you feel the bump it's like it dampens the bump and immediately you f the traction the wheels hit the road again and you 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 get uh full stability again does it make it make sense what i'm saying so you you definitely feel that the, in terms of performance and performance way 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 better uh very interesting to see what's going to happen on twisties when it when i do when a bump when i hit a bump while i'm riding i'm sure it's gonna what it's gonna do and i think that's pretty much what it's gonna uh it's gonna do is because the the recovery of the of the wheel movement will be much faster and more uh more uh effective i'll be getting my grip my traction on my tires faster and better so it's going to give me more confidence and I'm, I'm assuming because i did not go into the twisties but from my reading and understanding of the bike handling right now is that uh in a turn when a, in a bumpy road or whatever i will feel way more confident it makes sense because i will have more time uh rubber touching uh the pavement the asphalt that's what i'm assuming so that's it that's for now like I'm, I'm so relieved because i can easily say that it was well worth the ride well worth the install and uh, we're not not talking at all about you know the 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 very much 
uh, well, like the very the well known aspect of of the Wilbur's uh, the Wilbur Nevo mat, which is the self leveling for all different weights. I'm not even talking about that right now because I pretty much go only one up, and only in the future will be taking uh, luggage with me, and that we'll see actually on the road trip where we'll be, you know, loading and unloading and stuff like that. But even just now, just solo riding, same. It's really significant. I can, like, I'm really relieved. Uh, next few days, I'm going to update you as we go, as I'm going to take it through the twisties, different conditions. Uh, I'm not going to try two up. And by the way, two up, uh, That this is this is where it shines because of like you know it's a patent within the uh, the Nevo mat where uh, it's it levels itself uh, for every weight change that you do. So um, yeah, I'm excited and I'm I'm really happy and relieved. That's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. I promise you an update in the next few days when I when I take the bike uh, out up to Bear Mountain area to the twisties and ride it and then give you like a, a deeper review of the ride i'm sandy you're watching holy shift till the next oh pico what are you doing here what are you doing here hey buddy what's up yeah i just come in. i came home so let me go walk the dog i think actually my wife just walked him uh guys i'm sandy watching holy shift till the next video guys peace out Oh, and if you're wondering about that, you know, when I laid down the bike over here, well, it fell, not, fe yeah, it was like, it fell while I was standing, uh, nothing happened. Uh, let me show you. I don't think even the bags oh, got dirty. Did they, uh, no, nothing. This, not even this. That's it. So I'm happy I dropped the bike, I dropped the bike for the first time and that's all it, that's all that happened bye wait 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 don't go away i promised uh i'm taking you to the twisties so i'm going to the twisties now Ow.
let me tell you what I think uh, after riding it a little bit over here in the twisty roads. Not fast roads, but twisty roads. Let me tell you. Me okay, so let me tell you how the bike performed on these twisties. Let me just tell you how, how I felt. First of all, the bike handles much better than what it did before. Does my self-confidence go higher? I think so. I don't, like, it's kind of hard to tell exactly, you know. I did find myself doing uh, uh, more stupid, stupid things. So I guess that kind of, kind of felt a little bit more comfortable on the bike to do because I made stupid decisions. Yeah, so I, I would say confidence inspiring, a little bit better, yes. And uh, when I got on the bike, I was like, oh, okay. What I mean is like, as human nature, we get accustomed and we, uh, we get used to things very fast. Second time I'm on the bike now, like I wasn't as blown away as I was the first time I got on the bike. Remember a few days ago when I was, we just got on it, I saw, wow, what a difference. Shifting through the gears, the nose diving, and the bike just cruising steadily. I'm just used to it already at this point. I wasn't, when I just got on the bike, I like, I wasn't, wow, because I'm already used to this ride. I'm already used to this handling. At the twisties over here, I wasn't going too fast, 30, 40, so I can't really say that, oh man, wow, 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 what a performance. I don't know, I can't say. Uh, remember, the stock suspension is good on this bike, and this is, this performs better. This definitely performs better. I think that where this suspension is gonna shine big time, and who this suspension is really aimed at and aimed for, is for people that are gonna be riding this bike two up, then solo, then loading the back, uh, loading the bike when you go touring, when you go uh, with heavy loads, then unloading it. So it's the, the biggest selling point of this suspension, in my opinion, is its flexibility and ability to self-adjust without playing around with all the knobs and and the preload and the, you know, all the different, uh, the different adjustments needed on other suspension, uh, other suspension systems. This just does it by itself. And the ride quality is really good. Really, really good. This will be a very significant when we go on our cross country ride, John and I, and we'll be uh, riding for a few days for to a certain destination, all loaded with all our gear, luggage, you know, all our stuff. We'll be weighing uh, 30, 40, maybe even 50, 60 pounds heavier. And then when we get to a destination where we need to stay a day or two, obviously we'll be all offloading or uh, unloading all of our uh, gear, our heavy weight at the hotel or wherever we stay, and then riding around the area. So we will be uh, no, need, no need for uh, readjusting and the ride level, the ride quality, and the, will always stay the same. That's, a, that's who I think this system is really for. Again, if you are a dude or a dudette that rides solo and then every once in a while has a, the a significant other ride with him, you load gear, then you offload. So a very flexible system, really suited for that, that type of riding. On and off, two up, one up, with gear, without gear. Also, I want you to get some perspective of my experience. I rode an Electroglide standard before this bike with stock suspension. The next time I rode, uh, uh, the next bike I rode is this bike stock. I never uh, tried out Olin's, I never tried out Legend, so I cannot give you any comparison between the bikes, how they, uh, like, uh, which is better than the other. Definitely cannot tell you this is better, that is better, whatever. All I can tell you is this bike that I rode stock and uh, obviously the Electric Glide, which had a horrible suspension. Then I bought this Lowrider ST stock and it was a big improvement in terms of the ride, the ride comfort and the suspension on the stock. Lowrider ST is much better than uh, the stock uh, Touring that I had. And with the Nivomat Wilbur's, this is an improvement as well. Uh, how much higher, how much bigger, I can't tell you. I can tell you that the, the minute I got onto the bike, when I just had it installed, I was like, wow, this is much better. This is a better ride. I was blown away, like I said already before. 
uh, by the stability, by the confidence, uh, by, by the, how confidence inspiring it was, and how much nicer this, the ride was. Coming out again to the twisties today, reaffirmed my thoughts, definitely a good suspension. I would actually recommend doing it for the type of rider that I just said. If you want a better ride, a better suspension, with tons of flexibility, without worrying about adjusting the preload, adjusting the rebound, adjusting all these knobs and stuff, I would definitely recommend the Wilbers with the Nivomat. I have links down by the description area where you can find uh, this kit. That's it, guys. Now I'm done. Now it's over. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Until the next video, guys. Peace out. Yeah.